Thanks for joining us up first tonight at 12 News I-Team exclusive. A Valley Police Department is revamping its SWAT team following a months-long 12 News investigation. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Tramai in tonight for Caribe. We first started telling you about the Goodyear SWAT team back in March after learning a female officer accused the former SWAT commander of sexually assaulting her in his home. She says he handcuffed, blindfolded, and waterboarded her. Her allegations ultimately led to his termination. Team 12's Bianca Bono joins us now with the changes that are happening in the wake of our investigation. Guys, that SWAT commander denied ever assaulting the officer, but claimed what he did was SWAT training. That raised red flags about the SWAT team's training as a whole. Now, Goodyear Police is overhauling the entire department following our investigation. Three months without a SWAT team. It's kind of been a whirlwind. After the Goodyear Police Department shut down the SWAT team, Go. the unit is back up and running. It's been an interesting three months. Goodyear Deputy Chief David Farrow now oversees the SWAT team and all of the changes they're making after the previous SWAT commander was fired. It wasn't an easy decision. That decision came just weeks after the 12 News I team exposed allegations of hazing and Goodyear's secret SWAT selection process known internally as Hell Day. The Hell Day is, is nothing that was ever condoned by the department. It was never a part of our official process. The term Hell Day was not sanctioned by the department but current and former officers described an initiation day involving alleged mock kidnapping, handcuffing, hooding, exposure to ice water, and tear gas. How it lasted so long, I have no clue. Every year, the desire from the team is to make this harder and harder and harder. And in April, Goodyear's chief of police, Santiago Rodriguez, acknowledged the testing day was happening for years. Maybe 12 years or so. The reason that we would use the hoods before is um, for basically seeing if they're claustrophobic. Rodriguez said the old way of testing was among the toughest in the country. Experts responded to the high team's reporting, calling Goodyear's practices unheard of. They're so out of off, off kilter, they're out of bounds, they, they, they just don't get it. If that's the crux of our process and we have to rely on secrets, we probably shouldn't have a SWAT team. We should stand down and we should come into the, the 21st century. So, go. Which is what Goodyear did. Everything was on the table. How do we do our testing processes? How do we do our paperwork? According to an internal memo, after the SWAT team went non-operational on May 1st, the team's policies and standard operating procedure were rewritten. The new SWAT commander, Lieutenant James Hernandez, went through local and national SWAT training. Farrow says the team improved its record keeping and now keeps a roster of SWAT members who are also now equipped with body cameras. And Farrow says the team's testing day has completely changed. Will there be any gas exposure in the new testing process? No. Will there be any handcuffs or hooding? No. Will there be any water training? No. Any ice water training? Nope. Inviting 12 News to observe the new physical fitness portion. There are things that we can do better. There are ways that we can evolve and we can strengthen ourselves, and we've done that. With the changes came changes in staff, with at least four SWAT team members leaving the team since the stand down, according to records obtained by 12 News. We have enough to cover any incident that is thrown before us. Farrow hopes pressing play on the SWAT team that was on pause for months gives the public more confidence in the police officers tasked with responding to the most urgent calls in the community. We are definitely a team that can come out and safely handle these events and keep the community and the public safe. And since we were invited to observe that mock testing day, there was an actual testing day. A city spokesperson says four people tried out with three making the team. Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right.